So next we will be defining temperature loads. So for that we need to go to loads, temperature of the stress. So first we will be defining uniform temperature. So I will click on element temperature loads. Select the load case name temperature rise. And as per the code you need to calculate this final temperature value. I am inputting 25 degrees Celsius. In case the units are appearing in Fahrenheit, then you can change the units by going to Tools and Unit System from here. But make sure that you change the units before inputting the value of temperature. Then again, we need to select the superstructure elements. So I'm switching to Front View. Using Select by Window, I'm selecting all the superstructure elements and clicking on Apply. So the temperature rise load is applied. Now I just click on initial view so it will remove the display of loads and change the load case name to temperature fall and change the final temperature to minus 25. So again I will just click on this select previous and click on apply. So this way the temperature rise and fall application can be done. Then I click on this initial view and undisplay the temperature application and then We'll close this. Then again, we'll be defining the temperature gradient loads. So for that, I'll go to loads, temperature, total pre stress, and beam section temperature. Over here, I'll first select the load case name as positive temperature gradient. And then I will change the selection type to PSC oblique composite. So in case you are defining the section in software itself, you can use this option. Then I'll just scroll down. So when I click on element, that means the elasticity and thermal coefficient will be taken up from the material input. Then reference I will keep as the top of box girder. Then I will define these inputs as per the positive temperature gradient diagram over here. So I take B value from the section itself, the software will automatically calculate. H value I will take from 0 to H1 value is 150, so from 0 to 150, the variation of temperature is 17.8 degrees to 4 degrees, and I'll add this layer. The second layer will be from 4 degrees to 0 degrees, and the height difference is 0.25 meters. So but this again, we'll have to define from the top of box girder, so H1 will be 150, and H2 will be 150 plus 250 mm, so it will be 400 mm, and the T1 here will be 4 and T2 will be 0. This way we uh, added this second layer and then the third layer will be from the bottom of box girder. So I will just switch the reference to bottom and over here again I will just put H1 as 0, H2 value will be the H3 150 mm over here. So H2 value will be 150 and the variation of temperature will be 2.1 degrees to 0 degrees. And click on add. Then we will just select the superstructure elements and then click on apply. So this way in the hidden view you can see temperature application. So these are the three layers of temperature gradient which has been applied. Then I will just close this. So now we will be defining negative temperature gradient as for the diagram given over here. So you go to beam section temperature. Select load case name as negative temperature. Select section type as PSC composite and then scroll down. And reference I'm taking from top. Width of section will be calculated automatically. And then H1 value I'll take 0, H2 value I'll take as 250. T1 value will be 10.6 degrees, T2 value will be 0 0.7. For this I need to enter as negative 10.6. 6 degrees and minus 6.7 degrees. I'll add this. The second layer will be 250 mm to 500 mm for the top of box girder. And T1 over here will be minus 0.7. T2 will be 0. We'll add this layer. Next, we'll be adding these bottom two layers. So we'll switch the reference to bottom of box girder. So from H1 0 to 250. The variation is minus 6.6 6 degrees to minus 0 0.8 degrees and the next layer will be 250 to 500 mm and the variation of temperature T1 will be 
minus 0 0.8 and theta will be 0 like this and I'll add this. Again, we will be selecting box color elements by clicking on this select previous and then when we click on apply, again the negative temperature gradient also is applied. You can close this. If you want to see just the negative temperature gradient, you can go to the works menu and right click on negative temperature gradient display. You can see these are the four layers of negative temperature gradient.